At ESMO 2023, there's a lot going on for non-must invasive bladder cancer. We've got the THOR2 study looking at oral erdafitinib randomised against standard of care in people with BCG unresponsive disease. We've got the TAR210 data looking at uh, locally delivered erdafitinib using the Taris product in patients with non-muscle invasive high and intermediate risk disease. And we've got the Sunrise 1 data looking at the TAR200, which is a gemcitabine loaded uh, Taris monotherapy followed up uh, in 54 patients at one year. During ESMO 2023, it's my privilege to present the THOR2 study looking at erdafitinib in people with BCG experienced uh, high grade non muscle invasive bladder cancer. This is a common problem. High risk non muscle invasive bladder cancer is normally treated by resection and BCG. Half the patients fail BCG, and in that population, they've got very few options apart from radical surgery and cystectomy. That's got a big impact on their quality of life. In THOR2, we screen those patients for FGF mutations. Uh, about a third of them have got an FGFR mutation, and that cohort were randomised two to one towards erdafitinib, which is an orally active pan uh, FGFR inhibitor that uh, blocks the pathway, or standard of care, which was either hypothermic mitomycin, intravesical mitomycin, or intravesical gemcitabine. At follow up of 13.4 months, we hadn't reached the recurrence free period for the erdafitinib arm, but we'd significantly improved our outcomes compared to, erdaf, uh, compared to standard of care. In the control population, we saw recurrence across the board and the hazard ratio was 0.28. So in other words, erdafitinib reduced the chance of recurrence by 72% in that population. However, the side effects were quite common and a third of patients had to stop erdafitinib because of side effects. So as a drug, it probably won't go forward in the oral systemic platform, but it leads nicely on to the TAR2 10 product, which is a locally uh, delivered erdafitinib product into the bladder. During ESMO 2023, Tony Villaseca is presenting the first data on the TAR210 product. This is a pretzel that's drug loaded with erdafitinib and, reduce, and releases erdafitinib over 90 days within the bladder and it gets changed. The pretzel stays in place and you get a topical local delivery of a highly active drug. There were two cohorts, uh, those with high risk non muscle invasive disease that had failed BCG, so a huge population, not many treatment options available, so wanting to improve their outcomes. And then also a marker lesion where you had people with less aggressive disease, intermediate risk, where residual tumours were left in place. At three months, which is the reporting we've got to date, the results were really good. 82% complete response in the BCG unresponsive population and 84% uh, complete response in the marker lesion. Uh, so we're looking for longer follow-up. It's still a small study, still early days, but it's looking very promising. I know there are plans for a phase three trial to evaluate it in a large scale. At ASMO 2023, Andrea Netschu is presenting the Sunrise 1 data looking at TAR200 monotherapy. TAR200 TAR is a gemcitabine loaded uh, pretzel that sits in the bladder. It gets changed every three weeks in the first half of the year and then every 12 weeks. Um, it's actually a three arm study looking at systemic citrilumab, uh, local TAR200 alone and combined citrilumab 210, 200 on its own. What we saw this time is just the monotherapy across the board. So 54 patients followed up with, with a device uh, in the bladder. The population was twofold. High risk BCG uh, failed patients who've got uh, non muscle invasive bladder cancer and intermediate risk non muscle invasive bladder cancer where lesions were left in place as a marker lesion. We saw great response rates. So overall, at the time of reporting, 77 to 80% of patients have completely responded in both cohorts to the drug, suggesting that it's a very effective local therapy. There were only two out of 54 patients that couldn't tolerate it across the board. So it's well tolerated, safe and effective. So we're looking forward to larger studies. Mm -hmm.